Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of StarCraft II Co-op Mode ASMR Soft Spoken, Low Rambling, and all of the above. Uh, thank you so much for joining on in here today. Uh, and I uh, hope this is able to relax you as I play through these co-op missions with the Zero Tool, who is currently rocking it out at level 9 right now, climbing his way to be level 10 in a couple of rounds maybe uh maybe with that first win of the bonus as well to go with us today uh so thanks again for joining on in if you like what you're hearing so far please go ahead and consider hitting that like button uh and or hitting the subscribe button for more content just like this um and uh, we'll see what our first map is. And it looks like we are at Dead of Night with Zagara level 14. So this should be pretty okay. So sometimes, uh, depending on whom I am playing, oh, whom I'm playing this map with, is, uh, I don't know, sometimes we get done really quick. Make our first probe. We'll have selected our dark icons to go with it, and uh, we will also wish our friend a high, high good luck, have fun, as they wish us a high good luck back, and they are playing on normal mode. This will be actually interesting because um, I have three simulators going at it right away. We'll send our first down, our first probe down here to make our first uh, um, first couple of passageways here as we have people zooming by on the road. And, uh, yeah, strategy for this one is not going to be too much different than what I have been doing. Making a series of ambushers followed by a series of uh, shield guards topped off with a little bit of enforcers. And if they're dealing with, uh, ground units, which uh, we should be because we are dealing with the infested. You might want to consider the abrogators as well. I think we'll be a good addition. We'll zoom this ambusher out. Probe production is continuing. That's the more important part of our journey here. Oh, and maybe a more important part of the journey is actually making buildings that make our build possible. Let's pump this ambusher out here. Balance our probes and we'll push out another ambusher just because I did not make my core forage in time. They're making another hatchery here. Alright. Core forage is out. Zero tool will be up and about in about 25 seconds. 25 in game, now 20. Let's make our facility zero tool is out. Make 
a one cannon over here. Make our rallying point. Zeratul wants to find his first artifact. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Yep. Booyah. Okay. Uh, we've got the facility up, and I'm going to make my first uh, enforcer. Well, the sun's there to pull out here and bogart some of the uh, eliminations here. We've got 4-4 four, four in our first group here. Let's uh, consider the bay. Zeratul is hanging out. Our enforcer is out indeed. Still don't know exactly what I'm versing, so I'm going to start on the second army. some sort of flyer on the field, a little spotter. Okay. Still trying to figure out who we're versing here. It looks like Terran, Reaper, Liberator, Raven, Battlecruiser, a lot of flying units. So I might not even deal with uh, um, abrogators for this round just because it's a lot of flying units and enforcers will do well against the buildings anyway and it looks like Zeratul is ready for his uh, second artifact which is in a place It is approximately right here. Let's go. Zerg friends are taking on over. Alright, we've got the second fragment, which is great. For sure, we'll have three on the field in just a sec. Actually, two or f four. I know how to count. Okay. Detecting 
Nice. We might be beating this mission really quickly. I'll ask him if they want to complete the bonus because we might actually just go straight for the end. This is pretty much a uh, almost done deal here. Sending you the coordinates for more structures. <sighs> yeah, we're just uh, smashing everything here. ready to find the final artifact here. Let's go and find it before we complete the map too quickly. Just gotta figure out where it resides here, although not having a crazy ton amount of luck with, uh, oh, here is something, like all the way down here. They're almost there. Make this right outside the doors here. Buy us some time. This is looking to be kind of exceptionally easy. I'm kind of tempted to just uh, destroy all the buildings and not wait for the Two minutes or whatever. Oh, that's my thing that I don't want to have play ever. All right. Uh, looks like these peeps are unclaimed. I'll go ahead and slap them in group number one. Yeah. I think that we're not going to do the bonus. Oh, he typed in bonus. Not necessary, I'll say. Sweet. 
Yeah, I don't. We don't need the bonus that bad. <laughs> He got a ton more eliminations than I did. And I'm almost to uh, the next level there. And I think I should be able to to get it uh, within the next uh, win here because that would hopefully, uh, I don't know, that, that hopefully is enough experience points where I didn't need the bonus that last mission or something. I promise that's the chair. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get chrono chronometry. Is that how you technically say it? Making some peeps out more quickly. So we head into Oblivion Express with the Stukov Classic. Not classic, Stukov is one of the newer heroes. <laughs> But Oblivion Express is always a favorite of mine. Or, eh, it's fine. It's better than a handful of missions. Get our first probe, make our dark, or er, select our dark archons, and wish our friend a hi, 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 good luck, have fun as we continue to the second probe in production. They say, uh, thank you, you too, like the band. I'll start to make a wall, faux wall down here on our 16 probe count. And uh, make the second passageway and continue probe production. And I'll ask uh, if they want left or right natural. Sometimes uh, on this map, people are particular about where they want to be. He says it doesn't matter. I'm going to say cool. And then forget that that conversation ever happened. Okay. We do have pro production all pretty much squared around. I'm going to try making the core forge first, then going with the ambusher. Oh, let's see. I kind of want to play the, around with the idea of only um, filling up my base is by two-thirds. Uh, so when I make my second base, I'll just uh, migrate some of these peeps. Make another probe in production, and I can start to make my shield guards here. set of ground units so that I have three three ambushers to shield guard. Almost done with these rocks, which is wonderful. Make our for a uh, second nexus rather. OK. 
Okay. Do you want to make a facility? Say no problem. It looks like the uh, artifact is right back here. Let's make another couple of basic ground units while I wait for my facility to kick on the gear here. forget about the southern attack. Reversing Reaper, Liberator, Raven, Battlecruiser, the same as last time. So, Enforcers it is. Do I have an Enforcer? Yeah, I do. I actually get another couple of probes because I think I do want to make cannons. Enforcer. Zeratul is ready for another fragment in a very nondescript location here. Uh, looks to be right on top of here. Okay. Okay, I kind of want to get my um, 
my cannons up pretty soon. But I need to make way first. And I also want to get the artifact that I'm definitely not forgetting. little by little. Okay. Looks like my uh, bay is out. Oh, but they're going for bonus. Okay. to group one uh, make a couple more ground units nice and not so nice for the main base there. And I think we can too. Send some dark archons on down. one. Uh, let's uh, send, send Zeratul out on, on an adventure. Oh, is it now? It seems to be right here at is a, in a kind of a faraway place.
Oh, are they? Okay, they're taking care of those units there. I'm trying to remember where our artifact is. Kind of really far out there. Okay. on rallying his troops down here. Let's uh, readjust our forces. We'll slap them into group one. Okay, not the cleanest of executions here, but uh, we're doing okay. Cool. Let's make another enforcer just to top of our troops. Avatar of Essence goes down. bonus and call it good and then we'll return down over here be popping down th uh, at the bottom. It's usually where it all is. Sway our head from side to side. And 
Yeah, take this moment for yourself to take some deep relaxing breaths because we are going to be sitting here for a second and we're done sitting. And that's going to be a GG. Feels good. And I think that that should unlock our next level that we've got going on. So, we shall see. Yeah, easy as cake. Uh, we've got what's coming up next. Unlocks the passageway artifact upgrades after the third artifact is found. Store up to three blinks. Create a range that reflects. Oh, I didn't realize that the Zelnaga shield guard creates a range like that. That's pretty sweet. Uh, when a void Templar takes fatal damage, it retreats to the void. And uh, cannons and monoliths are even more tanky. That's what we like to see as well as getting 207 more eliminations is always a great way to top off the day. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for joining on in today. Um, thank you so much for watching up until this point if you're not already uh, asleep or you just tuned out completely. Uh, once again, I invite you to uh, hit the like button as well as, as the subscribe button for more material just like this. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and or night. Take care.